do you think that he'll be gone when the lights turn on so you climb into his bed all because he said Yourself within just to let him in again. Don't you think I could be what you're looking for? Spending all my time on Debbie Boulevard. I hope that you're waiting for your life to change. Spending all your time to dream your love away. I hope that you've seen that silent side of me. Acting like I don't have anywhere to be. Don't you think I could be what you're looking for? Spending all my time on. On the cock, ready to rock. Let's go. I feel like I, I need to make that a thing of mine, just that that's the intro to every single stream. Oh, thank you, thank you. I didn't know I was looking for your approval, but you know, go off, I guess. <gasps> Risei! Best girl! Oh, senpai! Welcome. Yo, what's up, Daddy Son? That don't. That's not correct. <sighs> A big tip from Dojima. Don't spend it all, and yeah, you can use it whenever you like. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I got my allowance finally. <laughs> Ah. Mm. I'm going to sleep. Yo, me too. 
Uh. Oh, it's that this late already. Um, midnight. Yeah. What? You said you would read me a book before bed. Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, that's right. I got it. I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! <laughs> Dojimiya here. Ikihara-san. Yes. Yes. Then that means... Well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. I understand. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? It's my job. But you said you'd read me a book. I can do that anytime. When's anytime? <clears throat> well, Dojima is smiling really. Are you two fighting? You can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? It's okay? I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yeah! Let's fucking go. Man, she made me read the whole thing. Let's talk. phone call was from Michihara-san, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Chisato's hit-and-run investigation. He was calling to let tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the results, but it looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan, most likely large and American. Ah, yes, those are definitely, you know, not mutually exclusive. As expected, no such car is registered in Nineveh. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either worst case scenario. The car is out of the country by now. It scares me. I couldn't catch the perp. I'll never have an outlet for the sick feeling that I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice the way she looks like her mother, I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality. It scares me. Huh. I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. I, I never thought that you would as well. I mean, I was literally just about to say, wait, Detective Daddy opening up? It's really... It, I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I, I need to face myself. Progress. Hey, it's me. Sorry for dropping this on you all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work out Juness from today till Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than we usually pay our workers. I'll buy you lunch every day at work, too. I promise. Please, I'm begging you. Sure, why not? All right. Sweet. You're awesome, buddy. Real lifesaver. I'll be waiting for you at Juness, so I'll see you soon.
What's up, Ted Z? <sighs> Why are there so many people just for a, the hero show? This is so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if you weren't here, Makoto. Welcome. We've got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of frosty shaved ice. Hmm. Uh, it's so hot today. But he is keeping up a good pace. Came closer to everyone. Wow! Oh yeah, good news. All us girls have our scooter licenses now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but a little more practice and we'll be good to go. Though, we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the pace. What the hell was Teddy doing in the background? I'm concerned. <laughs> Teddy, you alright, buddy? After the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Welcome, everyone! Beat the heat and eat some meat! Uh, oh no. <sighs> I. Chie. Can you please rephrase that better? Yakiniku, grilled steak, ginger pork. Chow down and restore the energy of the brutal summer days I've taken from you. <laughs> Try our tender, delicious beef. Yeah. Teddy is really dedicated, isn't he? Does it. Does, is he? Is he now? <laughs> I'm melting in this short sleeved shirt. He's wearing that huge costume. And he's standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? Hey, tomorrow is the summer festival, remember? Meet us at the shrine tomorrow night, okay? Earned 40,000 yen, let's fucking go. Welcome home! I do you worry, I got a wooden bat! I forgot I bought the wooden bat! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait. It has 30 accuracy? What the fuck, dude? I guess I'll stick with my stupid ass sword. fuck did I do all morning? <sighs> Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah. There ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. And they sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some mikiyaki. I want to get some too. Kanji, what's ikayaki? Teddy, you're a bear. Please stop flapping your arms up and down like a fucking fucking bird. I don't know why I was I forgot about the word bird for a second. It's the word. Whoa. Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or Whoa! Isn't that them? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. 
You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. You're cute, hey, Nanaka. <laughs> Do it. Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. Okay, Teddy's... Teddy, stop it. Why is Teddy's color so low? He looks like a stereotypical theater actor. Yeah, yeah, I, he does. But that's the... That's the... That's the fit that he wanted to wear. So... He's just... He's just... He, he's just Teddy. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, Teddy, you're a fucking pedophile. Get out of here. How do we look, Senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? <laughs> Jesus. You really uh, laying it on thick right now. Can I can I just say that Kanji looks best? Please? <sighs> Guess. Okay. Ooh, that slipped out so naturally. Perhaps you're used to saying things like that? Jesus, you're such a fucking flirt. <laughs> well, I'm still happy to hear it. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? Th that ain't it! <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after Wait me. Wait a fucking second. I just... Re remembered that Kanji and Rise are first year students. Good god. The freshman fetish. It keeps haunting me. <laughs> yeah, Rise is one of the youngest. Yes. Uh, Kanji is the youngest in the group. I at least that's what I think. I don't know how old Teddy is, but... No, Risei is not the oldest. The oldest is Yukiko. Yeah, Yukiko... Yeah, well, I, I believe Yukiko is the oldest anyway. Um, Because the four other people, being myself, Chie, Yukiko, and... Yasuke were all second years, and then Kanji and Rise are first years. However, Rise uh, explained that she's already 16, so Kanji is the uh, youngest out of everyone, which I find hilarious because um, both of them are the most mature-looking people that I that <laughs> in this game. So I mean. <sighs> They bought me cotton candy. Did they now? All right then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me. I believe that that everyone else is seventeen, but I I, I do know that Kanji is fifteen and Rise is sixteen. That's all that I know. I don't. I, I think everyone else is is either sixteen or seventeen. I don't know. Yeah, everyone can see your messages now. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Let's go. Okay, I'll take okay. care of Nanako from here. Okay, you can stop that, you attention whore. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged <laughs> up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Hmm, a summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. Teddy, can you stop? Can you stop? Especially when you're talking about Dojima and Nanako. Don't. No. Stop it. What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. 
It's the natural way of things. Okay. What, what the hell are you babbling about? Okay, but if we're doing this, then we leave Teddy alone. Is that cool with everyone? Cool? Okay, cool. I'm with Teddy. Oh, fuck you! Really? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I swear I did not know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh fuck you, Rise. No, I'm going back to GA now. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, Senpai. Why wear Yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? Oh my god, Rise. Why are you thinking that, uh, like, I know that your palace was a fucking strip club, but Jesus. So we should pair off right away. Oh my god. We were literally talking about the other day about joking that, oh, we're just a, we're an engaged couple. <laughs> and now you're fucking with Teddy. Reese. What a terrifying thing. I agree. Hey, Chie, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I want to die. You got a point, though. Good memories. <laughs> she is leaving me for a fucking bear. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, what I mean is, uh, count me in. <laughs> Why is everyone on board with this? Except for Kanji. I mean, Kanji, Kanji is always a loner. It's okay. It's okay, Kanji. You'll find love someday. All right. You guys decide how we'll split up. Uh. <laughs> sure. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, all right. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Um. Yasuke? Can you not phrase it like that? Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? <laughs> Me, him, and Kanji makes three. What? You did that on purpose. Um, should I really do this? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. <laughs> no way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? <laughs> well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. T Teddy! Stop! We get it. You're a flaming heterosexual. Just stop. That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in... That's right, Kanji. This is serious business. And you're a true man. <laughs> Stupid-ass heteros. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> How much more can you butter him up? Kanji? This is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <laughs> okay. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy. You said it. My God, Chris Kachi's going along with it. You fucking dumbass. Okay, count me out. <laughs> Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. <laughs> I swear to God, if these girls fall for it, I'm not going with any of these girls. <laughs> what? You little... <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. Thank you, Rise. Now come back to me, please. Please, <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> oh well, let's
let's go then. Oh, come the fuck on! You just go with them! We fail, huh? An epic fail. It's all your fault, Yasuke. Hey! Teddy! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! <laughs> yes, I do get Ch Kanji. But also... <laughs> Risei already getting jealous. <laughs> Aw, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Oh, Jesus. Teddy! You got ketchup on my yukata! Teddy needs to hop off of every single girl's dick. Like, right here and now. See, see, I'm playing the long game. <laughs> uh, sure, let's go. Bro, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. Dude, I don't know why the fuck I didn't! Stupid ass, silent ass character that I'm I. God damn it. But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. Well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then, for the memories. Come on, let's go. First, we have to make a wish. Though, it'll be the second time I do it. What are you going to wish for? <laughs> well, I know what your answer wants me to be, so I can Sure, whatever. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. I'm sorry? What the fuck are you thinking of? I might have bigger, bolder plans than you. Okay, I, uh, hold on, guys, I, I gotta be right back, I, I gotta, <laughs> gotta work something out real quick in the bathroom. <laughs> you that girl on TV? I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to be, you bitch? Ah, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh well, how about a candied apple then? One for your boyfriend, too. <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. Well, it's not like it's obvious. <laughs> I mean, we are literally walking around, like couples do, at a shrine for... <laughs> what should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? Excuse me, Miss Cherry Blossom 69 Um, you do not get to say that. I, that's my thing that I say. You cannot say that. Especially with me. No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. All us vendors are handing out lottery tickets. You can turn them in for a chance to draw a prize at the Tree over there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I I'm sure that you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. Well then, I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, senpai. A Konomiyaki, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. Bet. 
I don't have very good memories with fish. Why the sudden strange shift in tone? The fuck? I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take Aww. care of them. Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. All right, then. It's one draw per person. Let me go get it. I wonder what I'll get. I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember the day I got it. <laughs> Dude, I was literally... This girl, like, speaks my mind. I don't know if you guys <laughs> know this or not. Because, like, you know, it... Whatever there's, like, a lottery for, like, you know, whatever the fuck... Like, even, like, crane games. I don't even go for anything. I just, you know, close my eyes and waggle the stick around a little bit. Okay, it's not... I... The, the joystick... That no, it's still not okay. What? Just I just close my eyes and pick one at random. Okay, that's what I do. Don't question anything else. Now, close your eyes <laughs> Thank you for and the draw support. your prize. Wow, amazing! Both of you won! Wow! The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. <laughs> what is this character? It's so ugly. Uh, wait, these clothes. My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait, is this? And the boyfriend has sixth place. A book. Yo, let's fucking go. <laughs> the divine way. Ooh. <sighs> we saw a lot. Hey, senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Uh. So, everything. Yeah, yeah, Risei did get ripped off. But I mean, I got a book. <laughs> I'm excited. Even if you didn't, I'm sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So, thank you for coming with me today. Well, see ya. I hope we can come again next year. Of course. I mean, you know, next year I'm going away because that's how Persona games work. It's only one fucking year. It's fine. Sorry, I I I was uh, channeling Mr. King Moore on there. Rest in peace. Shopping program. Let's see. Genji Beetle. Old tomato. I could do that on my own. Both of these suck. Guess I'll take a fucking bug. Fuck you, bitch. Hang up. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm just curious what, uh, Divine way, knowledge and expression. Okay, Rank seven. Holy shit. And GA's at seven as well. Okay, alright. Okay. 
Alright. Yeah, then. Yeah! Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Just give me one second. No! Don't be sad. I just want to... want to sell this stupid bat. Not gonna have any use for it ever. <sighs> Not salty, by the way. Not salty. Oh. It's only be <laughs> slightly better than the grilled corn. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right, all right, okay. Ga, you're still there, right? Right, right, right. Hey. In the movie, I watched the other guy. Uh, uh, God damn it. In the movie, I watched the other day, this guy who knocked down a tree using only his leg. Hmm. How does someone kick that hard? Just practice? Chie. Oh. oh. Hey, Takashi. W were you robbed again? No. I took off right after that, right? So I thought I'd apologize. Why don't you be a man and admit you ran away? What? Were you this anal before? If you lose that sunny attitude, you won't have anything left. Sh shut up! Speaking of which, what's up with Yukiko-san? I saw her with you the other day. She seemed weirdly cheerful. She had this funky laugh, you know? That funky laugh. That's how she really is. Oh, you've rubbed off on her, huh? I can't believe it. That's not Yukiko-san. She was better gloomy. Good God! Can we... Can you kick this guy in the nuts, please? Can you galactic punt this guy's nuts into space? Hmm. So he can never reproduce? Look, if you get into trouble again. I'll step in and help. Huh? Oh, uh... Thanks? So why don't you shut your mouth about Yukiko? You don't know anything about her. She's a good person, got it? What the hell? I just remembered. Taka shit. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Way back, I saw Yukiko sitting by the road, holding a dog. I asked her what's up, and she said she ran away from home. She'd pick up the dog, but her parents told her she couldn't have a pet, and that she'd have to get rid of it. She looked like she was dead or something. I tried everything I could think of to make her laugh. And that's how we became friends. From that moment on, I told myself I'd protect Yukiko. But somewhere along the way, I messed up and that shadow popped out. After that, I thought I'd try to focus on what's good about me. I swore to quit being nothing but the girl Yukiko can rely on. So, I just tried my best. At finding the culprit and stuff, just generally being more reliable, that's all. I feel like I missed the point. And that's the first step. Too kind. Maybe a half a step? I wonder if there's anyone out there who can say, this is what makes me worthwhile. I guess everyone's looking for it. Let's fucking go, GA. Oh, 
cheerful much. What happened to Fula? Finally! Finally! My god, dude! I've been waiting for you to have a better ice attack. Jesus. I mean, it, it also, it, good, good, good job, GA. I'm proud of you. Oh yeah, that dog Yukiko picked up? It's gotten really fat at my place. Come by and see it any some time. It smells, but it's cute. <laughs> Maybe I'll walk it over to your house. See you later! You're back. Yo! Daddy detective! Detective Daddy! Who wants to hang out today? Not Co. Morning! Okay. Is your motorcycle all gassed up? Remember how I mentioned how we should all go to the beach before? Why not go today? Bet. Been looking forward to it. Right? When you think of the summer, you think of the beach. And vice versa. Not necessarily. I think about, you know, not going to school, but you know, that that's that's cool too. I'm sure suntan skin and a little accidental hand slipping is in our future. Okay, never mind. I don't wanna go to the beach with you. Oh man, I'm so excited! I'll go ahead and call up the others. See you later! What the fuck did I just sign myself up for? Sir, that is harassment. Amine! You know, usually I would feel bad for Teddy, but after the shit that he pulled at the shrine, fuck no. Fuck Teddy. Teddy making the oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait for me. That was cute. That was cute. Thank you, game developers. Of course Teddy's going to wear floaty. You know, I'm starting to get nervous. We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits. Which means reset live and in person. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Jesus, Yosuke. I mean, that was actually kind of funny. But still, Jesus, Yosuke. Hop off her dick. That, that dick is mine. <laughs> oh god, I need to stop. Whoa! Ooh! Jesus, now you need to hop off her dick. How come you guys are here? You should be in the water! Oh, were you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! <laughs> I've already seen her shadow. <laughs> She is something else, though. So 
summer is awesome! Oh my god. Hey, were you checking me out, senpai? Um, can we get going into the water? Please? Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Yuki-chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition! I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. My god, Teddy, please stop. Please. Like that it ever happened. Yes, thank you. Chie, thank you. Now get in the fucking water. Not not you girls. That's fine. I don't I don't care what you guys do. But Jesus. Yosuke, Teddy, get the fuck in the water now. Where's Kanji? I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Wait, are we finally gonna see Kanji in trunks? Fuck yeah. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Dude, what is that? <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> Look, it just... okay. What's what? Your swimsuit! What else would I mean? It's your basic black. What? <laughs> I'm not talking about the color. I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing. I'm seeing things I never needed to see. You're the only one saying stuff like that. Don't act like you're not egging me on. Uh, d dude. The, the flaming, flaming homophobia is just, oh, you can smell it in the air. Wait, Kanji, how come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? <laughs> huh? Why would that happen? What? Oh, Jesus. I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie chan, Yuki chan, let's be mermaids! My god, you are such a kid. <laughs> hey, he went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Found a betting machine. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Oh! My string's getting undone. Hey, Teddy, watch the hands, pal. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. Oh my god! I need to be right back. I need to go vomit. What in the world are they doing? Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. What now? Got you, you bastard! Busted! Hey, senpai, this stupid bear here. Not cool! <laughs> Kanji doesn't even notice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. It's hilarious. You listening, Senpai? Wait, hold it! Time out! Uh, look down! Down? <laughs> Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! What are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming! You run off and I'm toast! <laughs> but if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! Oh my god. It's what you fucking get, Teddy. Why don't we take a break? Yeah, yeah. How did he not notice? 
I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break, this lake was steak. <laughs> Yo, me too, Che. They're getting out of the water! Eddie, what gives? I'm done for. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Teddy. I'll go look for something. Sit tight. This is an emergency. <laughs> Your man let him dangle. <laughs> you know, if I do... If I do say this... Then I know that Kaji's response is like, No, I'm a man! I can do that! It's fine! Which is what I'm, which is what I'm hoping for. I mean, I don't. If I was in this situation, I would definitely try to find a swimsuit for Kanji, or you know, maybe a seashell, I guess. But like, this one's way too funny. Hell yeah! The, yes, let's fucking go, Kanji. Nah, that's pushing it. Why well, be in some serious shit? <laughs> Well, I, it was good while it lasted, buddy. I can hear the harps. <laughs> Stay with us, Ted. All right, Kanji, I found something. Wait, that's seaweed. <laughs> Kanji's voice actor does sound very natural. I love it. Oh, there they are. Senpai! They're coming! Just hide it! <laughs> what am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> yeah, this might be my favorite part, too. I love, I love this. Y yeah, I'm, I'm ready to be born, damn it! <laughs> My God! Was this the best idea? Oh hell no! But it was the best idea, you know. <laughs> Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. You all managed to win a better battle, <laughs> or so you tell yourself. <laughs> Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. <laughs> Kaji, how did you find your uh, uh, piece of cloth? I was about to call them trunks, but it's not. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. Actually, it might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Hell yeah. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Why are you, like, Yosuke, you can be so, like, helpful at times. Like this time. And then you become a pervert and a flaming homophobic bastard oh man what was that did I just get all philosophical there by all means keep going oh well if I have your permission come on you're embarrassing me even more I think it's fine I look at that big ocean out there and think man why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment just let it go so you don't deny that it was embarrassing huh The other girls playing at the beach. The, the girls and Teddy, yes. Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. Just one stick. Mm -hmm. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie Senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy! God damn it, Teddy. Stop. Just stop. 
talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Like burying Teddy in the sand. You mean like giving him a sand bath? Oh no, my wrist is red. I was so careful to put sunscreen on too. Good times never last long. I wonder if our high school days will end that way too. What's with all the doom and gloom? The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. Always goes for murder. I love her. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's she is an interesting one. <laughs> That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Oh, fuck yeah. Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. And, okay. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? <sighs> yeah, okay. I look forward to it. Yeah! There's lots of mountains around here, so there's gotta be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. Oh yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we gotta stay safe. The roads look dangerous, we might have to change our plans. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, okay. Yeah. Especially since he's the only one that cannot ride a scooter besides Teddy. Teddy doesn't count. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving after all. Hey, we're going home! A memorable day, it sure was. End of summer break is fast approaching, but Nanako still has some homework left to do. According to her, there's a huge pile of homework. The objective of Nanako's homework is to tighten the bond between family members by doing homework together. It's too much for Nanako to finish all by herself. Uh, yeah. Of course we want to help with Nanako. Thank you, big bro. Of course, little sis. Then I'll start working on spelling practice. You remember you had homework as well. God damn it. It would only take you a few days to do it. But you promised Nanako that you would help her with her homework every night. Maybe you can do your homework during the daytime. You can start on your homework today. I, I didn't even... Okay. Sure. Is that what I was supposed to say? Okay. I guess I'll work on my fucking... Four bumps of knowledge, jeez. To write three proverbs bye bye for my homework today. Mario funeral. It's like Mario Party but sad but I Nothing makes me more confused than what you just said. Some a rolling stone gathers no moss. That always tells me that one. Who could that be? Yasuke and Teddy came by. We had a little event going on at Juness today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako-chan. Oh, are you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. Alright, I'll help you, Nanako-chan. Uh, Proverbs. Oh, uh... Oh, I have one. Kugito, ergo sum. <sighs> Where did you pick that up? 
don't cast pearls before swine? It's more like something you'd say. I help Nanako for your home. Feel closer with everyone. Some homework left. Wow. to write an essay about something I remember. I'm sorry? You're seven! Why are you writing an essay? Is someone here today too? Jay and you can go came by. I heard from Yasuke that Nanako-chan is doing her homework, so I'm here to help you. You're writing an essay? Have you decided on a topic, Nanako-chan? Not yet? Let's see, how about the time when we went to the festival together? That's right! The ikiyaki was so good, and I had so much fun! Ian's writing her essay. Everyone said that's how it was sister. Yeah, you right. We're all in it together with, uh, with Nanako. I done with homework? Oh my god! No, oh, hold on. Oh, hello. Do you mind hanging out with me today? Sure! I know how to handle this bitch. <laughs> you look like you got something planned. Help! Hear that, Chie-chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. He told us all kinds of stuff. Like where you live, and about that precious Yukiko-san of yours. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Why, you... <laughs> to fight with you. Yeah, we can't let these guys get away. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? Fine! Then hit me! You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I won't fight back! Be my guest! The face, the gut, just pick a target! As hard as you want! Come on! Freak. What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go! Miss, thank you. <sighs> huh? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Child ran off. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. <laughs> Was that stupid of me? You protected that kid. Thanks. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. That kid, Yukiko. How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Rank 9, no! I like this storyline. Now 
take a mortal blow for you in battle. Oh my god! Jesus, Chia, you don't need to do that! Uh, um, well, I also want to protect you. I might be a little flaky, and maybe you don't even need protecting. But I... I want to protect you. Oh. <laughs> Mood is right. What should you do? No! <laughs> God damn it, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah it, it, it literally is Risei or GA <sighs> fuck <sighs> damn it yeah, yeah, she isn't expecting me to ask. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> yeah, she's not asking me to, to. Yeah, absolutely. And and here's the thing. It 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 it's more of like, you know, I've becoming more attached to Rise in a more uh uh romantic way than her, you know? Yeah, yeah, Risei has expressed explicit free feelings, yeah. Yeah, and it, it's just like... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, plus, I mean... No. It's not like... Chi's feelings won't necessarily be romantic. Unless you make them that way as supposed to reset. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it's, yeah. 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 Yep. I'm counting on you. So. Let's have some steak! <sighs> I have to write a book report. I already finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. A king goes deep into the forest and... It's a lot of effort, effort into a book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? Yeah, it depends. I see. Maybe I should write about you, too. I mean, I know that the right answer was no, because it was uh, Nanako asking, but yeah. Let me put your trauma in my essay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> if somebody puts my trauma in their essay, I would feel so, like, oh man. I would be so proud. <laughs> All right. Finish your goddamn homework. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. A milk carton, a paper towel or two, knitting wool, origami paper. Has to be hot. Risa and Kanji came by. Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her 
Summer homework. You should have told me. Oh, damn. <laughs> but it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. Can't do any of this hard stuff. I bet Kaji can! Let me see what I've got. Let me, what you got. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Create something that no elementary student could make. That's hilarious, I love that. So I found out that Kanji doesn't even have, like, an arcana tied with him. So there's no point in hanging out with him. Still some homework left. God damn it! Kanji is my little scrunkly. I love him. Hello, yeah, you're right. It's Risei. Hi, Risei. I love him too. Kanji is is one of my favorite characters in this game. <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with me the next time when I go pick them up, senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people have tried to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah. Want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Wait right here. Excuse me, Kodokusan, is it? Um, sorry about the other day. I'm Minori Inoue. Risei Kujikawa's former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? I did you a letter. Fan letter came, see? Give it to her yourself, bitch. I don't think she'd take it from me. And Risa always did look forward to the, this girl's letters. And today's cult of personality being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together minute by minute like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day, you're squeezed utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I can see, she's relying on you. So could you? Sorry, Senpai, but we're all sold out. Inoue-san, quit pestering me. Wait, what did you say to Senpai? I I'm sorry, I I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Gee. Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. I think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. worried about you. No. He just wants Rosette back. That's what I think too. The me he created. Rise is biting her lip. So what did he come for? He told Rise why you know he came and handed her the fan letter. Oh this letter. She wrote again. I see you. But he came all the way out here for this? This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she wouldn't let bullies get her down. That she tried to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this. Stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I feel like Rosette actually meant something. So, whenever things get, got tough, I would read them over and over. 
Senpai, do you still have some free time? Seems to be deep in thought about reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being Rosette. I can't meet her expectations. Shall understand. You don't have enough understanding? The fuck? Okay, I want to do this in terms of, like, this was your decision, as in, like, it, it's okay if you have second thoughts, but, you know, don't r r remind yourself of why you did this in the first place, you know? I guess this is more safe. I have no regrets. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit, to go back to being the real me. <laughs> With a lonely smile on her face. Anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over. I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's new main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Senpai, maybe we should really just do it. You know, what I was saying a while back. You could marry me once we graduate high school and the two of us could work at the tofu shop together. Doesn't that sound fun? How about it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, yes, but like, you are thinking way too far in the future, hon. You want me to say sounds great? Oh man, cause, cause, because in reality, my 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 answer would be I can't decide that now, you know? Cause, d dude, we're in high school. The fuck? But hey, this is not really reality. This is persona. That yeah, you right. <laughs> Tell her you love her. Huh? Senpai, you'll say that to just anyone, huh? It's dangerous to try to tell everyone what they want to hear. Too bad, though. Rosette was not, wasn't fooled. Thank you, Senpai. For being with me all of today. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. And it looks like there are still plenty of things only I can do. She will now precisely identify an enemy's weakness. Hell yeah! Six marriage proposal, <laughs> basically. Sorry for dragging you all around today. I'll let you go now. I'll see you later.
Hey, what's up, Nanako? I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Jesus! You have a fuck ton of schoolwork for a six-year-old! Which one should I choose? Oh, I know! There's a picture of it on my, that shirt that bought, Dad bought. What's it called? A platypus? Let's write about platypuses! I... That's not the right word, but okay. Eagerly begins researching platypi. She doesn't seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. The platypus lays eggs. And they have poisonous claws! Question! Is it the male or female platypus that has the poisonous claws? Uh, would it be both? If it's... If the book says that platypus have poison claws, then both would have it. Or she's just... It's either both or neither. Because... It's either both, and what she said, what she read was correct, or she's not... She misinterpreted what she read. <laughs> you know? By the way... Platypus? It's the male, I think. Are you sure? <laughs> Okay, I'm- fuck this, I'm doing it. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. What platypus has poison claws? Male. Ah, okay. Spell a specific answer for persona. Correct! You're smart, big bro. Not even a scientific journal, just the persona one. Wiki. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what popped up when I googled it, too. Whoopsies. <laughs> All of your homework has been completed. Hell yeah! This is the last thing I have to do for my homework. Just need to write a picture diary. Big bro and dad. Let's see. August 27th. Ah. I don't remember the weather. Big bro, did it rain the day that we worked on my art homework? Uh... I don't think so. Was it? Oh god damn it! No! I don't wanna work- mm -hmm. Fucking god damn it. Alright. Aug 27th. August 27th. Weather. It was. Hmm. It rained the day Nanako's armor. Don't work. What the fuck is the aft ward tau will help Nanako with her? She will ask you for it. At Anster, it stopped raining by then. Okay. How is that an answer on IGN.com? They. She will ask if it was raining the day you're worked, your worked, on her art home word. And stir, it stopped raining by then. I don't trust that answer, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's funny. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Okay, cool. Big bro and his friends helped me a lot with my home. They were so nice. I liked them so much. Oh. No, don't look! <laughs> <sighs> it 
Who wants to hang? Good morning, Senpai. It's me, Arise. Did you know the fireworks festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. I want to do everyone, but I know that this is what you want, so fuck you. <laughs> Jeez, Senpai, you're a natural born playboy sometimes. Oh my god. Stop. But I bet we'll run into the others at the festival. Yosuke Senpai would never pass up something okay. like this. Yeah, alright. So I did score points, but meanwhile, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Anyway, so it kind of sucks, but maybe we should get together with everyone this time. Well, I'll see you tonight, Senpai. Oh, hello, big bro. Are you there? Nautica wants to come too. Hell yeah! I'm gonna play at Mana Chan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. I wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. She'll be going to the fireworks festival with your friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. Yes! Let's fucking go, Detective Daddy! It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. I hope to see you there. Please make it, Detective Daddy. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. Surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I passed by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. <laughs> Serve him right. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Because <laughs> putting on a costume would definitely be like, Hey, I'm a different person now. Wow. Whoa, can we just leave him like that? Yes. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. You know, it, it's very ironic that you're the one that says that, but you're right. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. Oh. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. You tell him, G.A. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Y Yukiko, come on. Come on. Come on, man. Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. You can kill them those murder and nothing else. <laughs> you right. Teddy? Oh my oh, god. What a tragedy. <laughs> my lovely fur is completely ruined. Teddy got some action today. <laughs> that's okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. <laughs> Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit <laughs> reopening this morning's wounds. <laughs> there they are. Big bro. He, he did actually get some. That's hilarious.
Looks like Tojima-san made it in time. Yeah, Dad came home early. Let's fucking go, Detective Daddy. Where have we been waiting for you? <laughs> I made it. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? Teddy? Teddy. Teddy. No. Stop hitting on the goddamn child. How do you do that? Uh, well? Cut it out, Teddy. Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Okay, that spray bottle be full of cat piss. That way, you know, it'll be, it'll, it won't be like, you know, Teddy's just like, you know, flipping his hair in the wind. And he's like, well, it's a good thing that I'm wearing a white shirt. <laughs> really? Amine? Amine! to him <laughs> messing with her teddy <laughs> was that supposed to be a joke <laughs> oh looks like this one's a doozy this makes me very scared this makes me extremely scared Cause like there's a lot of really happy shit going on, like everything is like super, it's super great, but like, oh my god, I can tell, I can tell, Detective Daddy's gonna die or Nanako is gonna die. Don't say that! God damn it! No, <laughs> please. <laughs> That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Um, to keep, yeah, keep, keep going, Teddy. Keep Thank going. you for coming. And all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks, too. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a <laughs> snack. Dude, dude, come on, she is a growing girl. Did you have fun, Nanako chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. Aww. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye bye, Nana chan! I want a steak bowl now. Fireworks were great, but I don't know. It just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. <clears throat> really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, Kanji. Oh, yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? It, it, <laughs> it's easier with Kai. <laughs> You 
take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Bitch. Yopsuke. Annoying? Am I really- No, Yukiko, you're not annoying. Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke. Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. Uh-huh. Right. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh, that's not a... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept, even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. <sighs> You're right. Kisuke. Kisuke. I forgot about the kid detective. I missed that stream. Oh. Uh, well, he appeared on multiple streams. What do you mean? Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up. <laughs> you don't have to say it twice. He liked dinner with the others and they were headed home. Oh, you finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Why specifically did you say Teddy's name? So you better not smack it open before we get there. Hopefully everyone was able to come over. Nanako may have been a factor in their decision as well. Really? Um, <laughs> Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. You said that. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? <laughs> See? Oh, man. I, I bet it sounds fun to Yukiko. Because uh, it, it's like uh, smashing uh, somebody's head open. Right, Na Yukiko? Right? 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 do it too yes. I'll swing at it with everything I've got with your fucking Teddy Kruger hands yes the splattering fruit juice bursts of joy one night of love the bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth what the fuck are you saying that makes no sense at all thank you Yosuke and dude will you cut out those commercial lines of yours the essence of youth. Oh, but now you're in the wrong, Yosuke. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see, the watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. 
Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. <laughs> Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Shut up. Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Oh. Of course we will! You betcha! <laughs> fucking come, Kachi. <laughs> so, uh, out of all the people that would have chimed in, I did not think that Kanji would, but hell yeah. You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you! Fun time slowly passes by. Kanji's character development makes me want to cry. <laughs> well, he's always been this way on the inside, you know? He's just, you know, letting it out more. I'm, ha I'm proud of him. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. The case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. The character development with Dojima as well. Damn. First day of the second term. It's only the second term. Oh my gosh, there's so much game left. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Yeah, I, I mean, I could be wrong about oh hey good morning Nato. um um with uh at least with uh persona 5 uh the the game lasted a year you know so all three terms and then uh yeah so yeah <laughs> it's great y you you're that uh pint-sized detective I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Yeah, fuck you, Yasuke. Um, you know this is a high school, right? <laughs> My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Okay. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? So they got the guy over summer break. I was sad to know that he was a student I once taught. You've got to watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice? Train your body regularly so you can fight back. You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people eat meat. <laughs> Who did it end up? Who did it end up being? Oh, it was uh. So, um, I, I don't think you would have remembered because it was in the earlier streams. Uh, there was this guy trying to hit on Yukiko, uh, and Yukiko was like, "Get the fuck off me!" And uh, it ended up being that guy. Um, it was uh, it, his name was Mitsao. 
and uh, he basically did everything just to feel something. Like, uh, even while uh, he, uh, you know, was caught and all that, and taken in by the police, he felt zero resentment because, uh, because uh, he got so much attention drawn to himself. So, yeah. Also, young people eat meat. Uh, everyone be gay. Yeah. All right. Now a sudden question about meat. Hey, Kablooey. Venison. This is meat of what animal? That is. That's all of these. Yeah. Eat meat. Be gay. And you know, show me your dick, Steve. Um. Yeah. This is all of the above. I I I work at a pet store, so I know this answer. Surprised you knew that. Venison is the name for any game meat. Yep. Mm -hmm. That includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, even some kinds of rabbit. It comes from the word venner, meaning to hunt. But nowadays, people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. I hope you get the chance to get some yummy meat. That sweet, sweet dick. But be careful not to eat anything that has to hide behind a code name, though. <laughs> See, I have wrinkled bean as well. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Sure. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I need to get this out there because it, they keep on referring uh, Nato as he and a guy. I don't think so. I think he's. I think she is a tomboy. I think she's just a really, really, very much a uh, masculine type of girl. And, you know, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be an, uh, a, like, you know, a, a shock to everybody and be like, especially since Yosuke has uh, been uh, somewhat hitting on Nato. So, I mean... Yeah, that that that's my suspicion, but you know, maybe he trying to. Because yeah, he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like too. There's that, and the fact that he's a detective at his age. I feel like it'll be a shock to everyone, but Kanji the himbo, who just kind of knows. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You know what? I I think that Kanji and Nato are going to be a thing, and then uh, I I don't know. I feel like it, it's either going to be that uh, Kanji. Uh, I, I do think that Kanji knows, and that, um, you know, everyone's, and then, uh, Yosuke is gonna be all like, but wait, I thought you were gay! And then, uh, he's like, uh, yeah, well, what of it, you know? Is that the fact that he's a detective at his age? Hmm. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? Bisexual representation. There's probably yes. tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. 
That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasogami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. I like boobs. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's gotta be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're gonna visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yeah. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. But we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? <laughs> no, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Profound. Huh. 
You made that sound like you were being philosophical, yet it made absolutely no <laughs> sense. Okay, Chie. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Delivery. Oh yes, of course. My bugs. Thank you. Melon. Melon. And then we hang out with Nanako. Um, you know the photo you found before? I give it back to dad. I take care. Take care, love. You looked happy and smiled at me. Big bro, I love my dad. <laughs> he loves you too. <laughs> I think so too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, you remember too? Dad loves mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. He still has you. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. I'm glad to be dad's daughter. Your turn to talk. It's just for not to that time. So what will you do? Yay! Then, uh, I know. Let's play cards. So tired going to school, so sleepy. I can't believe that I was early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. I was surprised that it turned out to be a student. I've been so many. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. Very cool. That was uh, a very uh, thoughtful conversation that you've dropped on. Yes. Why?